AFL executives Simon Lithlian and Richard Simkus resign over inappropriate relationships Two senior AFL executives, Simon Lithlian and Richard Simkus, have resigned from their positions for inappropriate relationships with two younger women who work in the AFL industry. Key points Simon Lithlian and Richard Simkus resign after AFL is made aware of inappropriate relationships Disappointed AFL Chief Executive Gillan McLaughlin says league has addressed the issues strongly today Andrew Dillon becomes acting football operations manager, Darren Bircher acting commercial manager Lithlian was the AFL's football operations manager and Simkus the league's commercial manager. There were two men on my senior executive team who had inappropriate relationships with two younger women who work in the AFL industry, AFL Chief Executive Gillan McLaughlin said. I'm not going to talk to specific details about anything other than to say, I've got a duty of care to a lot of people here. The men have taken accountability for their actions. They've owned these issues. In a prepared statement, Lithlian expressed remorse for his actions and apologized for all the hurt and embarrassment he caused. The relationship should never have happened. As a husband and a leader of this organization it is up to me to set the example. What I did was wrong, Lithlian said. I failed my wife, my family, my friends, my organization and football by making the decision I have. I have hurt the people who are most important in my life and who I love. They have done nothing to deserve this. My priority now is to do everything I can to repair the damage and hurt I have caused my wife and my family and I cannot do this while working in this public role. I have nothing but respect for Simon, Alberti says McLaughlin said the AFL had been making meaningful strides forward in commitment to women in the game and this was a situation that could not be taken lightly. He said the exits of Lithlian and Simkus were proof the league was turning words into actions. I'd say that we have more women than ever work in our industry, more women than ever work in head office. Three of the nine management team that report to me are women, they are owning this agenda with us, he said. We feel that we've addressed the issues strongly today and will continue to make change because it's a journey and we're not where we want to be yet. Meanwhile, one of the AFL's leading women, Susan Alberti, praised the outgoing football operations manager. Alberti, who stepped down as Bulldogs vice president late last year, said she worked closely with Lithlian on the women's league. Photo, Susan Alberti was a key figure in the establishment of the AFLW. ABC News, Karen Percy I have nothing but absolute respect for Simon, she said, adding she had never met Simkus. Lithlian's, been a great person to work with and I really have no comment about what he's done within the AFL because I have never seen anything like that. He's been amazing for women's football and I've loved working with him. McLaughlin confirmed Andrew Dillon would step in as acting football manager, and Darren Bircher would take over as acting commercial manager. Photo McLaughlin said he was extremely disappointed by the executive's actions. App, Joe Castro, he said AFL House would be reeling for a while after the news, but stressed that upholding standards within the AFL was more important than morale. It will have an impact for a period, no doubt, I'm not going to shy away from that. This is a tight knit organization. McLaughlin said. But I also know that there are expectations and that people expect them to be upheld.